How about tonight, Dominic Wilkins, who is averaging 18.9 points per game, their leading scorer right now. Now he's hurt. You know, Michael Jordan just passed Dominique into the seventh spot all-time scoring list on Monday night. The Chief misses. Dickie Simpkins is in and misses. Fight got a piece of that. Parrish draws the foul as he battles for the rebound, and this is where Robert Parrish will come in handy in the playoffs, giving the Bulls whatever minutes they need from him with his experience, and he is still physical down on the block. Fike wanted to set the high pick and roll, but Maxwell took it to the hoop too early. Greg Anderson misses. Loose ball collected by Anderson. Vernon, he'll shoot it. Parrish with the rebound. Both teams struggling with the scoring percentage. Both Tip. teams under 40% in the first quarter. Look at that nice pass. The miss lay and then the follow. How about the Chief? With, gets an average of about seven minutes, but seven minutes like that where he can go, use his entire size, and really get second and third shots, which he's done consistently. Here's a good example. There was a push-off. Right here he's working. Watch this. Size just keeps his arms up there above everyone else. Able to hang in there in his 21st year in the league. Five rebounds already for Robert Parrish off the bench. As I mentioned earlier, Phil Jackson didn't play Robert Parrish much in December, January, February. Starting to weave him into the lineup a little bit now just to get his legs under him. Get him in shape for the playoff run. So Robert will be playing increasing minutes up to probably about 15 minutes a game as the Bulls head to the playoffs. Take a look at the scoreboard, Chuck. A two-point game. 35% San Antonio. The Bulls are shooting 28%. In the Parrish. Count the basket and the foul on Jamie Fike. That was just a bad matchup. Parrish wasn't even played, or he might have struggled to get a score. Time out of the four. Four-point Bulls lead.